Sooner Scoop HD. How does it feel? Or, sorry, you guys ready? Yep. Yes. So overall, how does it feel just to just to get back in the win column? Yeah, needed it. Proud of our guys, the way they played, competed, fought, practiced, but uh, needed that one and got it. You got you got started off right, touchdown on the first drive of the game. Just how big was that for kind of setting the tone the rest it, of the way? It was huge. We needed it. I think we all know just talking about starting fast and playing fast early on. Uh, we needed that today and, and got it. When did you know Dylan was going to be back in the offensive game plan, and how did you think he did from – not only when you knew, but even the week leading into this, starting Monday. Yeah, we knew he'd be back all week. Okay. And uh, going through protocol, doing all those things. But he felt good and uh, was proud of the way he played. Hate the turnovers, hate putting our defense in that situation. Um, but, man, proud of proud of him, how he played. You mentioned the turnovers there, but every time defense turned the ball over and gave it right back to you, you guys <coughs> scored pretty yeah. quickly. Well, what's kind of the, the key to making sure that you can execute in those situations? Yeah, just having the awareness to fit off each other. You know, play complementary football and, and find ways to take advantage of certain situations. So we were able to do that. Again, the, you know, the, the mishap right there before half, not scoring, and then the turnovers outside of those, really those four plays, uh, man, thought, thought we played pretty good. You usually start the game a lot with – the running game, you came out passing. And yeah. how, how did that set the tone? And then how did that open up the running lanes going? Yeah. I going think the, the biggest thing is we want to take what they gave us. You know, talked all week about Kansas being great against the run. They played with great energy and toughness. And, and that's what you saw from them statistically. They had been really good against the run. We liked our matchups. Guys made plays. And uh, it was good to get it going that way. We don't talk enough about the offensive line, but just their production today. How big was that? Really good. You know, kept Dylan clean. Um, just a couple of instances where we got to be cleaner from a protection standpoint. And then in the run game, again, being able to go rush for 300 yards against the defense that had really been really good against the run, man, was really good to see. You but, mentioned coming out and, and throwing the ball a lot. It seemed like a, a benefactor of that was Marvin Mims. Just how yeah. big was it for him to have such a big game today? And what did you see from him? Yeah, we needed to get Marv going. Um, and he had a great day. Again, he's uh, he's been so steady and done everything we've asked of him and was proud he was able to get that production today. Not just Marvin, but it seemed like as you spread the ball around, everyone you called upon, Gavin comes in, has that huge layout yeah. catch. What, what does that say about just the preparation this week that everyone pretty much eat through and they was able to execute? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is our guys made plays. You know, we talked a ton about that. We're going to pitch and catch, but you got to make plays and you got to make competitive plays in certain situations. That showed up today situationally, which was great to see. So, again, man, plenty to clean up, but proud of our guys, the way they came back, fought, been inside out the entire time, and just proud of them for that. At the end of the uh, first half, fourth down, clocks yeah. against you. Yeah. Was there ever? Ever a conversation about kicking? We, we weren't going to kick it there. <laughs> you know, we weren't going to kick it there. That's what I love about Coach V. That's why I'm probably as frustrated about that that snap uh, more than anything, is just not being able to go punch it in uh, because he gives us the opportunity to go do that. And so I want to create that confidence for him, too, you know, to be able to go do those things. He stayed with us. We did it on the fourth and one, obviously, where Dylan scored. So. Uh, appreciative of that, and it just tells you how he uh, he believes in the guys. Early in that drive, you had that third down. We kind of ran the clock. Was, was that you making that decision? Was that Coach Venables that was saying, "Hey, make sure that"? No, we're trying to play complimentary football. You know, when we have the opportunity to slow down and get to certain things, you know, we want to be able to do that. We played a lot of plays offensively today, not as many defensively, honest, obviously, but. Uh, Again, we want to play complementary football. We want to go fast. We want to be on on, uh, on the attack all the time, but we also want to take care of the football team. You know, that's important. How big was this for the offense going into the second half of the season and then also going into a bye week just to play and perform next year like you did? How important was that for the offense? Yeah, it was huge. You know, everybody in that locker room understands we have an opportunity to be really, really good on offense. Um, and so for, for us to be able to go play clean and, and play the way we played outside of, again, the turnovers and, and then the mishap there at the, at the end of the first half was really good to see. Just proud of our guys, happy for our guys that they get to enjoy, you know, a, a great win here at home before this open day. When you got here last January, did you know you were going to have such a weapon in Braden Willis like you're having now? You know, I, I don't know if I knew it day one, but after about 10 days of being here, I did. Uh, watching his tape. And then again, uh, every time I've had an opportunity to, to brag on him, sing his praises, I have. And uh, you're just seeing a guy that has been incredibly unselfish, uh, has worked incredibly hard, 
and now he's creating a bunch of production for himself, which is, uh, for me, man, so fun, fun to see. Yeah, Greg gets a touchdown called back, and does a beautiful spin move on it. Yeah. They call it all back. You guys go right back to him. I mean, yeah. talk about Eric Gray and your confidence in him. Uh, the thing that I love today is that I thought he did a great job winning his one-on-ones. You know, we had uh, some things that were really blocked up really well. He maximized that, but then he was able to create some chunks because he won his one-on-ones, which was good to see. How would you describe the difference in how your offense is feeling now versus this time seven days ago? I think it's a, a quite a difference. You know, again, uh, eight being back and doing what he did, uh, his leadership, toughness, and uh, experience uh, is, is special and it's unique and it's matched by production. And so there's a lot of faith in those guys going out and playing really, really well. Did that, ton of stuff to clean up, uh, but, but proud of them again. Sooner Scoop HD.